15 Beautiful African Traditional Clothes Many African countries have distinct regional dress codes. These styles can be traced back to centuries of weaving, hand weaving, dyeing, and printing. This is because traditional African dress is diverse and varies by country. Westernized fashion has gradually infiltrated traditional African attire. Africans, on the other hand, have preserved clothing that reflects historical cultural customs, heritage, and pride. Traditional African clothing and fashion are among the most visible, if not the most visible representations of the continent's diverse cultural heritage. Various ethnic groups across the continent enjoy wearing traditional attire for special occasions, traditional festivals, special events, and everyday business. This creates a vibrant, colorful, and exquisite scene anywhere in Africa. These outfits frequently reflect both traditional society and the status of individuals or groups within an ethnic community. These ethnic costumes can help you reconnect with your roots no matter where you live on the planet. Hello and welcome to our channel. Join us as we travel through Africa, discovering beautiful traditional clothing that will delight you. All 15 traditional African outfits on our list represent one of the continent's many regions. Please remember to subscribe to Africa Reloaded as we ride along. 15. The Tsonga Traditional Dresses, Southern Mozambique and South Africa Tsonga culture is proud and vibrant, which is reflected in their traditional attire. Tsonga gowns are among the most colorful and vibrant in Africa. They are always stunning when worn for important occasions and celebrations. The designs and patterns on these garments have a long history and significance, often reflecting stories about the Tsonga people's forefathers and culture. Traditional Tsonga costumes vary in color and pattern depending on where the Tsonga people live in Africa. They're eye-catching, ornate, and leave a lasting impression. Colors that are commonly used include black, white, red, green, and yellow. Each gown is unique and tells the story of the woman who wears it. 14. Kasa Traditional Dresses, South Africa Traditional Kasa dress is a sight to behold. They are frequently seen at special events, such as weddings and cultural ceremonies. South African Kasa women dress in traditional Kasa attire. They're also gaining popularity at international fashion shows. Each Kasa gown has its own story to tell. No two traditional Kasa dresses are alike. Each design is inspired by a different event or experience in the wearer's life and represents the woman who wears it. Some of the outfits feature jewels and shells, while others feature intricate stitching patterns. 13. Kaftan, North Africa Kaftans can be worn with or without a sash and are typically made of cotton brocade, silk, lace, or synthetic fabrics. They can be found in a wide range of civilizations and countries, but they are most common in North and Western Africa. In some warm climate countries, the kaftan is worn as a coat or overdress, with long sleeves that reach the ankles, and it is also worn as a lightweight, loose-fitting garment. The usage or titles of kaftan vary from culture to culture in a Turkic kaftan, Moroccan kaftan, Algerian kaftan, and West African kaftan. The kaftan has been the most important component of the Turkic Empire in India for centuries, Seljuk and Ottoman. The male kaftan is known as the Kaftan of Honor in Algeria. The female kaftan is enshrined in humanity's intangible cultural heritage. In West Africa, a kaftan is a pullover robe worn by both men and women, with the women's robe known as a kaftan and the men's garment known as a Senegalese kaftan. 12. Aso Oke, Yorubaland, Nigeria The West African Yoruba people created Aso Oke fabric, which is a hand-woven cloth. Aso Oke is a weight of life, not just a cloth. It is one of the cultural instruments used to experience tangible aspects of Yoruba dress tradition. The four components of the fabric are a blouse known as a buba, a wrapped skirt known as a iro, 
a head tie known as a jale, and a shoulder sash known as a ibarun or ipel. It has successfully served as the Yoruba people's special occasion cloth. 11. Taco or Attico, Northwest Cameroon. The taco, on the other hand, is a popular traditional garment worn by the grass field people of Northwestern Cameroon. In the past, only men and women of royalty wore the tog as a symbol of customary superiority over commoners. It's also a common choice for investitures, coronations, and other formal occasions. Tago is a multicolored, embroidered garment. It's made of a strong black velvety fabric that's soft and comfortable to wear. Since the turn of the century, as more African Americans trace their ancestors back to Cameroon, Tago has gone global. 10. Isiagu, Igbo, Nigeria. The Igbo people of Southeast Nigeria invented the Isiagu. Isiagu literally translates to leopard's head. You'll also be surprised to see a lion's head on the cloth. The leopard's totem has been replaced by the lion. The Isiagu is made of silk and features a lion's head imprinted in a unique pattern. It's a long, loose-fitting blouse that goes well with black pants or knitted wrappers tied around the waist. Surprisingly, the Isiagu is more of a status symbol among Igbo men. They wear it at formal occasions such as coronations, traditional assemblies, and chiefs' funerals. 9. Isidwaba, South Africa. The Zulus dress in Isidwaba, a traditional Zulu garment. Isidwaba, also spelled Isakaka, is a traditional Southern African garment worn by married or betrothed women. Normally, the skirt is made of leather, but it can also be made of cowhide or goatskin. The lady has decorated it with colorful mat-like cloth. Since its inception in the 19th century, Isidwaba has retained its form and design among the Zulus. Isidwabas are traditionally given to the daughters of brides by their fathers from the cow given to the bride during her coming of age ceremony. As a result, when a bride is about to marry, she is required to wear a skirt on the wedding day. 7. Shuka, Tanzania Shuka is a traditional African garment worn by the Maasai of Tanzania and Kenya. It's called a African blanket, and it's typically red with black patterns. Before the Scottish colonization of Tanzania and Kenya, chiefs and community members wore shuka as a traditional dress. These days, it's also popular as streetwear. Workers wear a variation of this traditional attire to work. Shuka was once only worn by Maasai, but it is now worn by people all over the world. 6. Jalaba, Mangreb Region, North Africa The Jalaba, or Jalaba, is a long, loose-fitting unisex robe. It is typically full-sleeved and popular in the Maghreb region of North Africa. Traditionally, wool was the primary material used to make jalabas. Cotton jalabas, on the other hand, have become popular in recent years. Jalabas often sweep the ground, but lighter varieties can be leaner and shorter. Men wear light-colored jalabas with an Arab fez headdress and babouch footwear for religious festivals and special occasions. 5. Hape Shekemis, Ethiopia The Hape Shekemis is a traditional Ethiopian garment worn by Hapesha ladies in Addis Abeba. Hape Shekemis is a robe that extends from the neck to the ankles. It is common among Ethiopian and Eritrean ladies at formal events and vacations. It is now available in short and long sleeve styles. It is typically made of cotton cloth and comes in gray, beige, or white. 4. Kanzu, Burundi Kansas are traditional white or cream African clothes worn by men in Africa's Great Lakes region. These people include Burundians, Congolese, Ethiopians, Kenyans, Malawians, Rwandans, Tanzanians, and Ugandans. The English call it a tunic, but the Arabs call it a thob. It is especially popular in Uganda. 
where men wear it to weddings and other festivities. The kanzu is worn by men of culture to project power and elegance. 3. Baobu, Senegal The Baobu is a traditional, fashionable, and useful Senegalese robe worn by both men and women across Africa. It is typically 150 centimeters wide, varies in length depending on the wearer's height, and is made from a single piece of fabric. There's also the massive baobu, which is 300 cm long and reaches to the ankles. Traditionally, baobus are made by folding the cloth in half, cutting a neck opening, and sewing up the sides halfway up to create flowing sleeves. A woman's neck is broad and rounded. For men, they are long and V-shaped. 2. Iro Adi Buba, Yoruba, Nigeria Iro and Buba, originally Iro Adi Buba by the Yorubas, is the traditional dress of Nigerian Yoruba women. The dress was originally constructed in five sections. There's also the Iro, a massive wrapper tied around the waist. Buba is a loose blouse worn on the upper torso. Jeel is a head tie worn by Nigerian women worldwide. On top of the Iro, the peel is a short fabric knotted around the waist. The Ibaran wraps around the upper left half of the torso from the left shoulder. Trendsetters, on the other hand, are ditching the peel and Ibaran in favor of lace, cotton, or chiffon in place of the traditional ASO OK. 1. Kent, a Shani region, Ghana. Kent is a traditional African garment cloth worn by both men and women that originated with the Ashanti and Yu people of Ghana. It's made from silk and or cotton cloth strips that have been cut to fit the pattern of the fabric. Despite technological advances, indigenous Ashantis continue to hand weave Kent clothing. In the past, Ghanaian royalty wore the fabric in a toga-like fashion. As a result of the popularity of Kent patterns, Kent print has grown in popularity in Asia and the West. These traditional African garments have strong ethnic roots. They also represent Africa's cultural diversity and heritage. Unfortunately, for a list as short and detailed as this one, some key items are acceptable to be missing. Please let us know if you know of any important traditional African clothes that should be included on this list in the comments section below. For more exciting updates, like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded.